there are so many books to read and there are also different formats so which mobile app to use to read those great books in this video we will see three best apps for reading books on your android device if you're new to this channel hi i'm arun and i create videos on books productivity and design and everything around them let's get started that's it these are the three apps lithium kindle and adobe reader now you got what you came here for now please don't close this video or move on to another one and watch till the end because I'm also going to highlight one key feature in all these three apps which actually stands out. While showing these apps you will also see what formats are supported the best in each app. First, Lithium. This is one of the rarest ebook reading apps that's not just free but also comes with an ad free experience. If you want to read EPUB files on your Android device, Lithium should be your choice because it's just a simple EPUB reader with the basic and necessary features built in. It also comes with an optional vertical scroll option so we can read books by scrolling up like a web page instead of turning pages like the usual books. Lithium is free and also ad free as I said before but if you like them you could upgrade to Lithium Pro to show your support and get more colors for your ebook highlights while also get the ability to sync your highlights and books with Google Drive. If there's only one problem that I found with Lithium, that is the delay in between page turns, but that's minimal. Second one is Kindle. This is usually known to every ebook reader out there. Comment below if you are one of the Kindle users. An ad free experience for sure and by that I mean the pop up ads not the regular ebook suggesting engine from Amazon that's just ever present in Kindle homepage but not just the ebooks downloaded from the Kindle store but any mobi files or, or azw and azw3 files that you copy to your device can be read easily with Kindle app if all you need to read are just the mobi format ebooks then get the free Kindle app no further search necessary they have got highlighting, note taking, dark mode or the night mode, dictionary, bookmarking and quite a few other basic and necessary features built in. Side note, this also supports reading PDF files but the experience is quite linear without any fancy options like page turn animations. Not just Android, you can download the Kindle app for reading on almost all devices. The third and the final one in this list is the Adobe Reader. I would any day recommend Adobe Reader app for reading PDF files on your mobile devices because it's innovative and has set many industry standards. Plus for Android phones, find this little icon here for the view settings and then go inside to see an icon that looks like an A inside a block of lines to select reading mode. This creates a reflow effect on regular text within PDF files. Not for all the PDF files, it fits as a scanned one, obviously it cannot have a reflow effect. But for the regular text within the PDF files, this reflow effect will be very useful while reading. The text size adjusts to your screen size, giving us a pleasant reading experience like that of an EPUB file. Now all the download links to these uh, apps are given in the description below. I hope you liked this video, if so please hit on the like button and subscribe for more such videos and I'll see you again in the next video. Until then please keep creating because your success is just around the corner. Of course, don't forget to read a page every day. Take care. Bye.